Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Alan here, and welcome to episode 10 of the Completionist from Scratch series. And this is going to be a shorter episode, I've actually decided to finally grind out 99 Thieving. I'm currently level 96 at the moment with 371k XP until 97, and I'm pickpocketing Knights of Ardoin right now with an Ardoin Cloak too. Now at level 95 with this cloak, if you go ahead and pickpocket the Knights of Ardoin, you actually stop failing them altogether meaning that you can constantly spam click them and they'll never catch you or they'll never stun you or anything like that. And this is roughly 245k experience per hour, at least that's what I get. I believe you can get around 250k if you are to never miss a tick. And I gotta say I'm really enjoying this method, it's somewhat AFK in a way. I mean, when you think of AFK you think of away from keyboard, but what you can honestly just do is set your cursor on the Knight of Ardoin and either spam click your mouse or bind your keyboard in a way where pressing one of your keys is a left click. And you can kind of just sit back, watch Netflix, watch general TV or something, and get a bunch of thieving XP. So I really do like this method, so I would highly recommend this. Go ahead and get an Ardoin Cloak 2, 95 thieving, and head over to Knights of Ardoin. There we go, level 97 thieving, only 2.4 million experience away, which will take me roughly 10 to 11 more hours, which really isn't that bad to be honest. And also on a side note, this is roughly 148k GP per hour, which is kind of cool because all of this money does slowly add up, and with a bank like mine, I kind of really need this GP, and before I know it, I'll have a few mil by the time I hit 99 thieving, so this is pretty nice. Alrighty, let's get level 98 thieving off of a paladin. Let's go over here and pickpocket, and we get stunned. Now, see the thing is, with Knights of Ardoin, with the Arty Cloak 2, where you're at level 95, you don't fail on them whatsoever. I don't think this works with any other NPC in the game, and one that came to mind was Master Farmers. Like, let's say if I were to do an hour of just pickpocketing them for their seeds, I think even with a thieving cape or Arty Cloak 3, you would still fail on them, which I think is really weird, and Master Farmers have a lower level thieving requirement to pickpocket them than Knights of Arty, so I don't know why it's just the Knights where you stop failing on them. I think they're the only NPC where you stop failing, but I don't know. I think it's weird. Anyways, 98 thieving, 1.2 million experience away. Let's get it. So just a side note, my Enchanted Emerald Bolts finally sold, and this came from when I cut a ton of Emeralds last video, I believe, or it was the one before that. Anyways, it's when I got a lot of crafting experience when I needed the requirement for, I think, Legends Quest, and I only managed to lose about 20k by making these bolts from scratch. I was just going to sell the cut Emeralds, but I would risk losing a lot more money when I could actually make them into these enchanted bolts and get some fletching and magic XP along the way and then barely lose any money. So this is what I did. They finally sold for 315 GP each. It did take a while, but I was willing to just let them sit and then lose only a little bit of GP as opposed to instant selling the cut emeralds and losing a lot of GP. And also, right here is a really interesting profit. I bought 63 Easter eggs for 2k GP each and sold them for 4k, so this was a 126k investment and turned it to 252k, so I essentially just doubled my money right here. I don't know why, Easter eggs had a huge margin, so I thought I would just flip them. So that was interesting right there. And right now I'm sitting at 5.9 million GP. We take a look at my bank, I still have 1 million in here as well, so 6.9 million GP at the moment, which my bank is still slowly growing, which is very nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and get 99 thieving. So I'm sorry for teasing you all, but before I decide to finally get 99, I did want to do a little bit of cooking. I'm currently level 95 at the moment. All I did was cook a lot more Karambwans, like 4,200 for the first one, and then 4,000 for the second one. And the first transaction, I made roughly 400k, and on the second one, I made roughly 700k. And it's also nice that I'm not burning them as often, which means as my cooking level increases, I'm making more profit per hour, obviously. But it's really nice that I've finally been able to cook a lot more of them as opposed to just burning thousands of them. Alrighty, everybody, this is the moment of truth. I did get an XP lamp. We are going to use it on thieving. Hit confirm. 980 thieving experience. Level 99 thieving, everybody. I finally did it. The grind is finally over. The hours and hours I spent into this skill, whether it was blackjacking or just general pickpocketing, it's finally over. I'm really happy about this, to be honest. And this is kind of a special moment because not only this is the first 99 on this account, 
This is also my first 99 in my RuneScape career that wasn't a buyable. My first two 99s in this game were fletching and cooking on my only used Grand Exchange accounts, but thieving isn't a buyable. It's probably everybody's most hated skill in the game. Actually, maybe not even. I think people generally don't like mining or room crafting, but I feel like thieving, not a lot of players have 99, and I did look at the high scores, and I'm one of less than 2,000 people who actually obtained 99 thieving on their accounts. So I'm really happy about this, honestly, and it's an untrimmed cape, and I'm going to keep it untrimmed even when I get my second 99. I'm going to do the method where you go to like a free-to-play world and you drop your cape and telegrab it. There's some sort of method to it. So I'm going to keep this cape untrimmed just to remind myself this was the first 99 on this account. And the skill cape emote looks pretty cool. It's just you're looking back and forth. You got some treasure on your back or something. I think this would look really nice with the purple graceful outfit, the recolored one from Zaya. I forget which house you get it from, but I don't know, fashionscape-wise, that would look really cool. Anyways, this is going to wrap up episode 10 of the Completionist from Scratch series. I did tell you guys this was going to be a shorter episode. It mainly focused on me just finally hitting 99th evening. Next episode, I promise, is going to be something better. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have anything to say about this video in general, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I do read all of them. And if you are enjoying this series so far, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more of these episodes. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm like 85 away. So if you guys could help me hit 10,000, I would gladly appreciate that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode of Completionist from Scratch.